Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be cooking up some Swedish meatballs. Now, I love Swedish meatballs. And it's a nice wholesome dish and it doesn't really take that long to put together. There is a little bit of work involved, but it comes together really well. I think you're going to like it. Stick around. So today I'll be using two different kinds of meat. I'll be using some ground hamburger and some ground pork. I have a pound of each, um, but I'm only going to use about a half pound of each. And I'll save the other halves for something else. Now the first thing you want to do uh, to make your meatballs is I have a half of a cup of milk here. I'm going to pour that in. I also have a half of a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm going to pour that in. And I have a half of a really large chopped onion. Pour that in. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon I'm sorry, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Pour that in. I have a half of a tablespoon of parsley. Quarter of a tablespoon of basil. And I'm just going to whisk all that together. nice and soaked in. So now I have a half of the pound of the ground beef and I have a half of the uh, ground pork and we're just going to pour that in. And we're going to mix it up. I've added my half a pound of uh, ground beef and my half a pound of ground pork. Now I'm going to add one egg. And uh, honestly, the only way to really get this mixed up really well is with clean hands. It's just to just dive right in there and just get it done. And that's what I'm going to do. Just dive right in. Mix it all in there together. Get it all nice and incorporated. Mix it really well. I like to come from the bottom and bring up and fold. toss after it's been sitting a few minutes after it's soaked up all those breadcrumbs and I did add some uh, granulated garlic in there and I'm going to give that one final toss into my mix in my pan just a drizzle in there and um, now I'm just going to take my little this is just a little ice cream scooper you know if you have one if you want to use it um, it'll make some it kind of makes really large meatballs so I don't know if I want to use it or not but that gives you an idea that you could use one if you like I prefer actually to just use my hands And 
and I'm just going to toss those there right now. And they don't have to be really uniformed. Just, you know, a nice shape. Okay, let me get these rolled out and I'll bring you back. So in my pan, I have a little drizzle of olive oil and it's heating up. I also have my oven preheating to 375. As you, you can see, I've got, these are pretty much uniformed in, you know, size. And we're just gonna, some people like to cook them in the oven, I, I like to just fry them up in the pan. And what do you, so I put my uh, meatballs into my pan and you don't want to overcrowd the pan so you're going to want to cook these in, in batches but you're going to want to brown these on all sides. Some people like to use the oven. I like to just brown them in the, in the pan. Um, I also have my oven preheating for 375 because I'm going to end up cooking these in a casserole dish with the sauce. Now you really want to get a good sear on all sides. Put them all browned. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place them in my uh, baking dish. Like so. now is I'm scraping the pan of all that fond and I'm just going to toss that in the in my bowl because that's going to become part of my sauce alrighty now for my sauce again I have my fond from the pan here I'm going to use One eighth of a pint of cream, but I'm just going to eye it. I can get this opened. There we go. I'm just going to give it a good eyeball. Looks like a pretty good amount there. An eighth of a pint of uh, beef stock. About a half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Ah, that should do it. 
little little salt. Little pepper. Whisk together. You know, I honestly think it needs just a little bit more cream. So here we go. I don't want to be stingy with the cream. Let me give this a taste. Oh my goodness. That tastes so good. All right. Pardon my mess here. You know, they say that if you don't make a mess in the kitchen, you're not a good cook. So, I believe them. Okay, I'm going to pour my sauce over my meatballs. you go. Now I'm going to cover these with aluminum foil. And I'm going to cook them in, in my oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. Okay, in my um, stew pot I have some water. And I'm going to be using some bow tie pasta today for my meatballs. When you uh, cook water for pasta, always salt the water. Always salt it. <clears throat> okay, so I have a good boil on my um, in my water, and I'm going to add about two cups of. The bow tie pasta. Give that a stir. I'm going to bring this back up to a boil and we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes. Oh, don't those look yummy? Oh my goodness. Alrighty. So I have my meatballs. I have my pasta. It's done. So my meatballs are done. My pasta is done. And the only thing left to do is to try this. So I'm going to add a little bit of my pasta. And I'm going to add some of my meatballs. I'm going to toss them around a little bit and this get some of that flavor on the on them. Some of that sauce. The moment of truth. I gotta tell you, this really smells amazing. It really does. Does it look amazing? It really smells amazing. Alright, let's give this a try. Because everybody wants to know. Here we go. That's really good. Okay. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to put the recipe in the uh, description box down below. If you look over to the left side of the screen, you're going to see a little bell. 
subscribe to my channel okay hit that bell and you'll be notified whenever I make a new video yes you will I promise you mm. very oh my god so good that's it for me today thanks for watching be safe be well and be kind we'll see you next time bye bye